atmosphere at the base of the Jakobs Horn for the men's slopestyle finals is electrifying. 15 of the world's finest riders prepare themselves for what promises to be an action-packed finale to the competition. The standard of riding during the finals was incredibly high, but four competitors dominated. From the flatlands of Belgium, Seppi Smits, Eric Willett from Frisco, California, US of A, and Canadian Seb Touton and Mark McMorris. We join the action at the start gate as the four riders prepare to battle it out for the top spot. First to drop in is 23-year-old American Eric Willett. Eric lands a technical switch backside double court 1260 mute grab off the kicker and completes this confident first run with a frontside board slide 450 out. This is a strong initial run from the American to which the trick and flow judges give him a combined total of 91.37. This result puts a very stoked Eric into the lead. Next up, Mark McMorris. With Eric Willett setting the standard in his first run, the pressure is high for Mark to put down a solid score. Mark bones out a cab 1260 tail grab off the kicker, but disaster strikes as he catches an edge soon after, sending him tumbling down the landing. This is a heavy slam, and the medics rush to his assistance, fearing the worst. Thankfully, they're a tough breed in Regina, Canada, and Mark McMorris walks away with only a few bruises. Even though Seppi Smits witnessed Mark go down hard on the kicker, the Belgian rider needs to stay focused in order to throw down a solid score on his first run. Seppi winds up into a backside 1260 mute. A cab 180 onto the rail to backside 360 out. Seppi scores a combined total of 87.9 from the trick and flow judges. A great first run which puts him in second place on the leaderboard. 18-year-old rider Sebastien Touton steps up for his first run. Having just signed a five-year deal with O'Neill that very afternoon, Seb is keen to show his sponsors just what he's made of. A huge tech cab double court 1260 melon off the kicker, followed by a backside board slide under flip off the rail in the middle of the set. This is the line Seb's been practicing in training sessions, and his efforts have paid off. A brilliant run from Seb for a total score of 92.2, beating out Eric Willett's first run to put the Canadian in the lead. Eric has to up his game on his second run, needing to better his first run score and preferably vary the combination of tricks if he's to beat Seb Touton's score. He starts his run with a solid switch backside double cork 1260 mute grab and goes on to execute a frontside tail slide 450 out on the rail. Eric misses out on knocking Seb from the top of the leaderboard by only seven tenths of a point. If Eric can improve his performance on his third run, this will really put Seb Touton's lead in jeopardy. After his epic slam on his first run, nobody would blame Mark McMorris for sitting out the rest of the competition. But the tenacious Canadian doesn't give up that easily. Playing catch up, Mark drops into his second run. He stomps a cab double cork 1260 nose grab on the kicker, a massive improvement on his fateful first attempt, and a textbook frontside tail slide 450 on the rail. This is an incredible comeback for the Canadian. A confident and technical run, scoring him a combined trick and flow total of 94.77, which beats Seb Tooth's score, putting Mark in first place on the leaderboard. This epic second run from Mark has raised the bar in this competition, putting added pressure on Seppi Smith's second run. A backside 1260 mute on the kicker, into a cab 180 onto the rail, backside 360 out, Seppi smoothed out the rough edges on his second run to score a combined total of 89.23. A solid score, but he will really need to dig a bit deeper to score into the 90s and find a spot on the podium. Seb Touton's main worry is Mark McMorris. Mark has stormed into the lead with an unbelievable comeback, trumping Seb's first run score by 1.24 points. 
Seb needs to step up his game on his second run. A cab double cork, 1260 melon into a backside board slide under flip out on the rail set. This is certainly an improvement on his first run, but with an overall score of 93.53 on this second run, it's not quite enough to knock Mark McMorris off the top spot. The tension is high as the riders prepare for their third and final runs. First to drop in is Eric Willett. The American has performed consistently during these finals, but really needs to nail his line through the course perfectly to beat Mark McMorris's score of 94.77. Switch backside double court, 1260 mute. Into a backside board slide, 450 out on the rail set. Eric's delivered a fantastic final run, easily his best yet. And he scores a combined total of 94.63. Unfortunately, not enough to beat Mark Score, who still leads by 14 one hundredths of a point. A wise and possibly disoriented Mark McMorris decides not to tempt fate and sits out his last run of the finals. But currently leading the competition, the Canadian can only hope no one can better his second run score of 94.77. Seppi Smith has yet to score in the 90s in these finals. The Belgian rider will have to put together a flawless third run to be in with a chance of finishing in the top three. He throws down a perfect backside 1260 mute on the kick into a cab 180 onto the rail, backside 360 out. Seppi throws down a stylish and clean last run for a deserved score combined total of 93.57 to put him in the third on the leaderboard here at the Evolution. Seppi's score pushes Seb Touton out of the top three but Seb has the top spot in his sights. Still to beat is Mark McMorris's score of 94.77. A tall order, but not beyond the capabilities of the strong-willed Canadian. Despite the pressure, Seb stomps a clean cab double cork 1260 melon and executes the backside board slide to underflip out to perfection. Competitive snowboarding doesn't get any better than this. A perfect last run from Sebastian Touton, nailing the cab double cork 1260 and the board slide underflip with style and confidence. This gives Seb an overall total of 96.63, beating Mark McMorris's second run score, putting the young Canadian into the top spot here at the slope style event at O'Neill Evolution. An elated Sebastian Touton walks away with $15,000 and 1,000 Swatch TTR ranking points. What an incredible way to start the new year for the young Canadian. This epic victory concludes the O'Neill Evolution event here at the Jakobshorn, where the standard of riding has truly defined the evolution of snowboarding in 2011.